We understand that uh, the lawyer is addressing the media at the moment. Let's hear him. The most important thing is that the Honorable Member for Asin Central admits that issues between himself and the leader did not go well. He took steps some two, three weeks ago to, to regularize relationship with leader. In other words, he apologized to the leader for the seeming misunderstanding. And that is where matters stand. Um, of course, we are colleagues. So to the extent that he himself realized that the matters that he raised in response to whatever came from the leader were wrong, and he apologized. It ends there. Again, we see it as a family issue. I mean, we were in this, uh, we were in this house when the then uh, majority leader, Honorable Bagbin, I mean, made comments, and it was resolved. We were in this house when a member of parliament slapped another member of parliament. Same was resolved. These were matters between uh, individuals. Of course, they were members of parliament. So once again, um, the honorable member of parliament for Asen Central has told the committee and the whole world that he admits having aired in respect of his leader and the statement, I mean, the comment he made. Well, you cannot always appear before an adjudicating body and get everything you want. As far as we are concerned, um, issues of procedure are extremely important and relevant. But the committee reserves superior discretion regarding whether or not to admit same. So once they took a view that they would want to proceed, we um, were obliged. But on a different matter, be assured that as a member of parliament in my own right, I, have, I believe that the very principles and the rules that guide us must lead to certainty. And as a member of parliament in my own right, completely different from the matters in issue, I would continue to insist that the House adopts its own rules to the latter so that that level of certainty expected by all would be achieved. Today it may be somebody, tomorrow it may be another. There should be a system where at any time anybody trying to read our proceedings and how we go about things would find a positive base to reconcile. And to me, that is what is important. Any fresher who comes to parliament may want to be reading the Hansard. And I would want to see a situation where any MP who would want to learn would have an opportunity to learn and learn properly, taking a cue from the certainty principle that we have established in the way we do our things. And uh, that should be so, it. Does that mean that you are going to advise your client and push that the motion that you filed, you know, you really go ahead and get it moved on the floor? Because he gave, he, he gave the indication that he was going to consult you on other way for it should be. But to the extent that you want certainty on this, is that the sort of advice you give him? No, I have raised certainty quite independently and separately. That as a general approach, my, uh, my, my, my principle has always been as a member of parliament, that the rules must be such that people will be certain as to its outcome. That is different from the proceedings on the floor. Now, regarding the colleague who has a pending motion, it is for him to take his decision. Uh, it is not for me to speak on that. I think that uh, the member who asked the question perhaps, well, uh, did not look at other matters because he has filed that motion in his own right. As a member of parliament, I would 
maintain the position that anything that happens on the house floor, anything that happens at the committee level, might be such that the principle of certainty will be the underlining principle that all of us will take a cue. Because if you pick the rules book, it says that if there is a matter, it is order this, order that. If you go back to history, 2015, and you look at the position taken by Do Ajaho on issues of contempt, you would realize that the member who was raising a contempt issue tried on two or three occasions, and Ajaho kept declining until the member followed the proper steps known to our rules. Then he said, now that you have navigated properly, I would admit, and directions were made. So that is a kind of approach that everybody would want to would, would desire. And that is the basis upon which um, I think the Honorable uh, Kennedy Japan wanted to appreciate the issues that a member sought to move a motion. And to his mind, if a motion has been moved, certain steps ought to follow. And he wants the House floor to address some of these things. My final clarification would be, earlier there was talk about chances of him being suspended, him, his you know, position as committee chairman being revoked and all. Who said that? Well, those were some of the... No, no, no. Don't, I, let, I, I, don't let allow speculation. That's fine, that's fine. But for you, should this be the end of the matter now that he's apologized you? Um, sleeping dogs be allowed to lie? If you hear, for example, the Muntaka or this is further, what will be your reaction? Let me draw a distinction, a general allegation and a specific allegation. I am saying that the application made by Honorable Muntaka was overtaken by events, overtaken by events in the sense that the Honorable Member himself apologized to his leader on a platform, all right, that was done long ago. Of course, it has, not, it has not come to the attention of the committee. Today, through me, the committee has taken notice of the fact that the honorable member apologized to his leader. He went further to say that if he erred against his leader, and by extension, same affected parliament, then he relies on that apology to also say to the house, look, I'm sorry, he said that in clear terms. He's raised separate issues regarding procedure and evidence and all that. But without prejudice to all of these, he says that, look, I apologize to my leader long ago. The committee had not taken judicial notice, but today I reiterate that apology I rendered to my leader and even said that they embraced each other and they have been on good talking terms thereafter. In any event, I mean, we are in the same party. And he says, look, he is also my party man, and I've done the need for. By extension, he's also said, leader is a subset of the bigger set parliament. So if in so saying, uh, parliament was affected, he has also said that he's sorry. And that, 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 that ends the matter Council, on Council, that. your client has apologized to two issues. Either he used the word useless or not, or cheap. Your client has admitted that he used the word cheap. Some committee members still believe that he actually uttered the word useless. Would you be surprised if that was interpretation they place on what they heard? Um, don't be speculative and don't put words in the mouth of committee members. No, or, it's, it's uh, said I'm saying don't put words in the mouth of the committee. Let me put it that way. According to the chairman of the committee, matters are being deliberated upon. So why must we speculate? The substantive issue raised by Munteka has been overtaken by events. Again, the, the means of invoking the jurisdiction of the committee is also being challenged by the Honorable Member for Asin Central. But out of respect, he is only brought to the attention of the committee that he himself has leveled up with his leader. And it remains there. So that's um, the uh, Member of Parliament for...
the Efutu constituency, um, Alexander Afenyo Markins there. He's also a lawyer for um, Kwesi, uh, uh, you know, uh, the member, Kennedy Japong, who is the member of parliament for Asin Central. I'll give it back to you. Uh, I think he's answered a few of those questions about uh, where do we go on from here. We know that the meeting, uh, the uh, committee is having a meeting at the moment. And after that, are they going to then call him back to s clear out the issue about parliament form or parliament IFO? Okay, I've lost uh, Joseph Opoku Gakpo, but let's wrap up that conversation and what's been happening here so far. As I indicated, uh, the three issues that were raised were all cleared out, including the jurisdiction of the committee, the evidence available, which the uh, Afenyo Marken thought was inadmissible because it was not acquired from what he calls proper custody. He says that the original, the documents or the videos that he had should have been obtained from uh, the original media house, in this case, Netu and Multimedia, which is um, Adum. Uh, FM. He says that there is a danger of confusing the issue and danger of exposing his client to undue uh, prejudice. Then they went on to the question and answers uh, to, during which he apologized and said he had actually already apologized to the uh, leader of the of the majority, Oseiche Mensa Bonsu, and that they have squared things out already. He'd also, he also then apologizes to the entire uh, parliament saying that if he offended anybody that he apologizes. But he still seemed to have Co concrete issues that he wanted trashed out. And he says that uh, Honorable Montaka Mubarak was up to mischief because he believes that the documents that or the video that he presented as evidence had been doctored. He says it's been edited. He also had a, a, a problem with the uh, mynewsgh.com my news uh, quotation of him that supposed in which he supposedly directly refers to Oseiche Mensa Bunsu. He says what is in the video doesn't even represent the quotation that was attributed to him by my news GH. So bottom line is that the issue has been, uh, it seems that it's been done with as far as knowing whether or not he was the author of those words, which is a question that the chairman put to him. He said he did it. He has apologized for it. Let me get, get through to you with a summary by his lawyer, Afenyo Markin. He says that uh, the issues have been thrashed out with Oseche Mensa Bonsu. He's, he's apologized. And this is really a family issue which parliament can deal with. He says that as far as he is concerned, by the way, the House must adopt its own rules to the latter. And that goes back to the motion filed uh, by Kennedy Ejapon, seeking to, you know, move the case or not have the Pri Privileges Committee sit on the matter because he said it has to be referred to the Speaker of Parliament. He says that matters of procedure for him was extremely important because it provides certainty. And he was asked the question whether or not they will withdraw the motion. He says maybe Mr. Kennedy Japan will take his own decision after that. But as far as he's concerned, he believes that the procedure must be followed through. We'll be here to bring you a lot more analysis in our subsequent bulletins. Joseph Opoku Gakpo coming over from Parliament will also help us to get the details and throw, throw you out the highlight of that sitting that just happened. So... This is where I draw the curtain. You can log on to myjoyonline.com for more news and information. But do stay with us here because you always know we bring you the most in-depth analysis. My name is Gifty Andorpia. Many thanks for your time. <laughs>